spiced or has spice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. These are great words. Any others? Hmm. Let's say, ooh, okay. How would you describe this? Any more words to describe this one? Mm. We can say it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's white. Uh huh. Yes. It's soft. Yeah, it is soft. Oh, well, let's see. It <laughs> maybe <laughs> yesterday it was soft. Today it's a little hard. <laughs> but yeah, we can say <laughs> soft or hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was soft, <laughs> small. <laughs> um, it has frosting on top, just a little bit. So we can say it is frosted or iced. Frosted or iced. And <clears throat> I'll show you how those are different. So this is a frosted cake. This is a frosted cake. Frosted cake. So on the cake is frosting. And this is an iced cake. Okay. <laughs> it's the same, same pictures. So this is an iced cookie. Okay, so iced or frosted. Okay, <laughs> it's the same, same pictures. So this is an iced cookie. Okay, so iced or frosted. <laughs> icing, when we ice something, we put icing on it. And icing and frosting are usually a little different. Like frosting is thick and icing is more like this. Ooh. Can I put it? Okay. Mm. Icing is like this. It's thin. Uh, it's like watery icing. Like I would say this is icing and this like this is frosting, but we can use both, both words, icing, frosting. So it is, it is iced, iced, the D. Ah, thanks. The astronaut icing is an old term used to describe the way sugar hardened on sweets like ice. Can we say creamy? Yes, we can say creamy. It is creamy. Creamy usually means it has, it has milk or it has a milk product or like we could say the frosting is creamy. Yeah. Good job. Creamy. What else? Small, cute, delicious, sweet. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Should we look at some more food? <laughs> Can describe more food. Maybe we can think of another. Oh, another word. Let's see. Food. Ooh, oh, that looks gross. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Chicken and waffles. How would you describe this one? What words would you use for this? Uh, yeah, that was the first picture. It's like really popular though, right? 433. Ugh, that's not for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Mm, okay, how would you describe this? The waffle looks good. We can say good. That's a good adjective. It's good. Mm, this is so good. Sometimes I I use good for all the food. So the astronaut says 
well, everything is good. Is it great? Is it amazing? Or is it just good? Maybe a little bit spicy. Browned. Good. Browned and spicy. Brown, spicy. Meat. Yes. So meat is going to be our noun. Meat is our noun. Excellent. Looks spicy. Yeah, I think so. It looks a little spicy. Maybe they put some hot sauce on there. Homemade chicken and waffles with spicy. Oh, yeah. It is spicy. Spicy. Butter pecan syrup. Mmm. It's spicy and sweet. The syrup is spicy and sweet. It looks good. I'm hungry. Syrupy. Yeah, you can say that. It's syrupy. And some people And some people will say syrupy. <laughs> like my dad says it's syrupy. I will say syrupy. Syrup, syrup. It depends on where you are from. Yeah. Syrupy. All right, let's see. Ooh. Uh, those are some opossum cookies. <laughs> let's, let's talk about them. We can describe them. <laughs> they are cookies. And here we can use opossum as an adjective. They are opossum cookies. Our adjective is opossum. Do they look delicious? Uh, is it opossum or possum? That's a great question. It's both. Um, I think it's the same animal. I think. I think we say both of them. Let's ask Google. I think it's the same animal. Oh, no, nope, I'm wrong. It's a different animal. It's a different animal. Wow. Let's learn about... It's not the same. <laughs> oh, they're different. Possums are more closely related to kangaroos. Ah, okay. Here's where it gets confusing. In North America, people often shorten a possum to possum to talk about the creatures prowling around the backyard at night. Mm. But that is actually an opossum. So in America, we have opossums. And in Australia, they have possums. I did not know that. English is weird. In English, we like to make things shorter and easier and we are lazy when we speak so <laughs> we don't say things correctly so we say possum but it's actually an opossum interesting oh the possum is cute i think so too Ooh, this is an opossum <laughs> and this is a possum Wow. Opossum? Possum. <laughs> opossum. Yeah, the opossum. So in America, we have opossums. Have you ever seen an opossum? I have. Sometimes at night, they, they will dig in the trash, and they do look wild. They're like... They are aggressive. <clears throat> yeah. They like to eat the trash. They come out at night. Um, they will not, they won't attack you. Like they won't run after you and attack you. So they're not really scary, but they're also not nice. Like they will <laughs> hiss at you and yeah. <laughs> so these are opossums. I guess this person likes opossums. I think they do not look delicious, but maybe they are delicious. Ooh, yes, they play dead. 
when they think they're in danger. They will go in danger. They will go on their back and pretend to be dead. <laughs> but this is just slang, right? We can speak correct, perfect English, but when we go out into the world, everyone will speak a little bit differently. Speak some slang. <laughs> all right, this is here, we have already have three adjectives. Homemade, creamy, Tuscan, chicken. So our noun is chicken. Where is it from? Origin, Tuscany. It's creamy and it's homemade. Cheesy, maybe it is cheesy. Cheesy, creamy, maybe, yeah, maybe it has melted cheese. Let's see, maybe they will tell us. Ingredients, let's see, chicken, olive oil, black pepper, oregano, butter, garlic, tomatoes, spinach, double cream, which is like thick milk, and parmesan which is cheese yeah so it has some parmesan looks pretty good i'm getting a little bit hungry what time is it <laughs> it's 11. i had cereal for breakfast what did you all eat for breakfast yeah now it looks more delicious that you know what's in it it does look good i don't even eat ch chicken and it still looks pretty good so good tacos or regular tacos. Breakfast tacos. Mmm, delicious. All right, scallops, beans and eggs. Ooh, that sounds so good. Maybe that will be my lunch. <laughs> that sounds good. Ooh, we have some leftover beans. We can add some eggs. That sounds good. All right. So these are scallops. <clears throat> and, um, scallops. Scallops are a kind of seafood. And they are cast iron seared. So that's an adjective there. Cast iron seared. It talks about the way that it was cooked. So that would be like the type, shape or type. So cast iron seared means it was cooked in a cast iron very hot on one side, then maybe on the other side. Served over seafood risotto. So risotto is our noun, it's this stuff. And seafood is our adjective with re Reduced garlic and shellfish stock. So the stock is like the liquid. And reduced means it is, um, it was very watery, now it's less watery. Seafood risotto, great. So here, seafood is the noun, I'm sorry, no, risotto is the noun. And what kind of risotto? Seafood risotto. Seafood is the adjective. So if we are not sure, we can say, what is it? It is risotto. That is the thing. It is risotto. Um, and what kind of risotto is it? It is seafood risotto. Like here, we can say, it is a banana. What kind of banana is it? <laughs> it is a funny banana. <laughs> so funny is our adjective. Would it be a cat dog or a cat-like dog? <laughs> um, both of them are okay. A cat dog. Cat dog is funny. 
cat dog. That's also a TV show. Cat dog. So if you say it is a cat dog, um, people might think of this TV show, <laughs> cat dog. <laughs> so I would probably say it is a cat-like dog with a, with a dash. Seafood risotto is weird. It is weird. Cat like dog. It is weird. Um, seafood risotto. So we could say, for example, um, I thought of one earlier. This is, okay, this is a computer mouse. So this is not a computer. Computer is a noun. This is a computer. But this is a computer mouse. So here, what is it? It's a mouse. What kind of mouse is it? It's a computer mouse. Is it? It's a computer mouse. Yeah. Or it's sometimes we use the nouns like an adjective. Or like it's a computer. It's a school pencil. So what kind of pencil? A school pencil. I know, it's kind of weird. It's a little annoying. Sometimes in English we use nouns as adjectives and nouns as verbs and we can move them around. <laughs> so some words can be a noun, an adjective, or a verb, right? Like shopping. I go shopping. That isn't a verb. This is a shopping basket. That's an adjective. Um, so it can be both. <laughs> or that is a shop. Shop is a noun. So shopping shop and a shopping basket. So it can be a noun, an adjective, or a verb. <laughs> so yes, an astronaut says there are a lot of rules and we break them often. It's very true. Um, but many words can be different types of words, and that's why um, <clears throat> we can ask some questions to help us, like, what is this thing? The thing is risotto. What kind of risotto is it? It's seafood risotto. It's delicious. It smells good. It's... Um, yummy, it's spicy, so those are all adjectives. And <clears throat> we also learn something called a sentence diagram. And a sentence diagram is, a sentence diagram is like, um, draw, we draw a picture of the sentence if we don't know what kind of word it is. But usually, if I am just talking to you, we are just having a conversation. I don't care if I have a noun or an adjective or a verb, right? Like, we're not thinking about it. So, aww.